Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on December 8th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Always starting out here looking at our sun as we've seen some very active sunspot regions as forecasted and predicted here with Daily Events Worldwide. Again, thank you so much for pressing play right now. Very important information being shared here. This is showing the last 24 hours on our star. One X-class solar flare last night and as well multiple M-class solar flares, and still in progress. Having a look now at the last 48 hours, or sorry, the last 24 hours incoming, little Earth to scale there, amazing imagery here, brought to you by GOES-19 Satellite, and mixed here. And thank you so much for pressing play. Look at the outgoing and Earth-facing position right now. Very active sunspot region. X-class solar flare, plasma shot taking off. Coronal mass ejections inbound. If you haven't seen the latest space weather update, gave it earlier this morning, but the space weather spiral coming right up. Another amazing look here to see our sun. We've got a coronal hole that has developed in the northern region of the Earth-facing position, so we can expect coronal hole wind stream in our future, and as well, most likely, some more fiery sunspot regions and possible x flares so stay tuned and again thank you so much for following along and pressing play today please don't forget to give a thumbs up get in the comment section let me know where you're watching from let's have a look at the current space weather conditions level three strong radio blackout impacts expected from the most recent m-class solar flares as i said they're still going solar winds are not being reported right now but i know they were average at about 350 but tomorrow night, level three strong geomagnetic impacts from these solar flare events. Solar X-ray flux, low geomagnetic activity has been very low, actually at a KP1, kind of the calm before the storm, as we are expecting this tonight and into tomorrow, all day tomorrow and throughout tomorrow night. But literally, this will be starting at about 2 or 3 a.m. tonight. Continuing on all day tomorrow, look how fast this CME is coming. But look, even faster is the CME that came about 12 hours later, catching up to the CME from the first solar flare. Amazing times to be alive. And thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Here's a look at the Aurora forecast for the Northern Hemisphere for tonight. Stay tuned. This is going to be a lot different tomorrow as we give the forecast. Here's a look at LASCO 3 wide spectrum showing cosmic energies leaving the sun. There is the halo CME expected arrival tonight. Well, definitely tomorrow. But if you're watching this tonight, overnight tonight and all day 9th into the 10th, Venus coming in on the right hand side there. Now earthquakes, my friends and family reported and forecasted here with daily events worldwide large 7.6 earthquake striking japan i knew that the seismicity wasn't over 6.6 .6, even following that 7.6 after some very active north pacific plate movement over the last few days let's just have a look the last 24 hours earthquakes all over the place africa turkey but very quiet central america earthquakes piling up in alaska and now earthquakes are piling up california so the world is on watch right now as Earth is ringing like a bell after a 7.0 earthquake in Alaska. And now look at this earthquake activity in Southern California. Of course, all the activity at Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii. Earthquakes continue through that region as well. Now let's just put all the earthquakes in right back to yesterday's 7.0 earthquake. So this is showing the last 36 hours around the world. Amazing stuff. Tsunami warnings watches went out earlier with the 7.6 earthquake as five buoys went into event mode. World is still on watch as I do not think this is over. We saw some very deep earthquakes this past week. I put out the earthquake forecast, earthquake warning. And here now we've been hit 7.0 earthquake Alaska and into the Yukon right on the border 
of Yukon and Alaska. Now the 7.6 Japan. Having a look now at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected in Japan after some very deep earthquakes in Fiji. Our planet has echoed and has answered the bell call. Earth is ringing like a bell and the hum, the heartbeat of our planet continues to thump, thump away. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Hashtag no fear here, just aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes. Big SO2 plume coming out of Hawaii, Central Pacific, but that's been over the last couple of days. That's not including yesterday's eruption. So stay tuned. We're going to see an even bigger one, I'm sure, as that thing has been spewing. Overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia, no new eruptions to report. Central America, South America, and as well the Atlantic, no new eruptions to report. But still, quite a bit of SO2 coming out of the East Pacific right now, all invading, heading into North America. Now look at all these strong systems that are coming into play across the Northern Hemisphere. It will be affecting all of Canada, most of Eastern U.S., and as well the United Kingdom. Ireland and Iceland, some very strong systems in the long range. And look at this, Atlantic provinces, some very wintry storms brewing across North America and an atmospheric river penetrating the coastline of British Columbia and Pacific Northwest. So heads up, could see some major floods in the future. Overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia and Australia, Watching for some pretty strong systems to come out of China, affecting Japan, and then eventually racing across the North Atlantic to Alaska. Other than that, no major typhoons or cyclones developing, but definitely a notable series of low-pressure systems here penetrating, as I said, the coastline of British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, Big high pressure ridge still locked in over California until about pretty much the long range forecast. The middle of December into the 20th. But very vigorous system here affecting the North Pacific and eventually North America. Stay tuned. So another thing I wanted to share here is some satellite imagery overlooking the California basin. As since the beginning of December... They've been locked in with this daily fog that sits, hovers across the, the full California basin daily. This is now December 8th, and yet again, the fog is there. Little weather anomaly, geographical, geographical anomaly that's happening there. Some very frigid temperatures across the Northern Hemisphere are really helping with that. Wink, wink, just say, just saying. And here is the big picture. This is our upper level winds on our planet, pretty much depicting our northern polar vortex as the velocity and strength of this thing is really starting to ramp up. But it's still a little warped. And we've got huge low pressure systems that are developing across the northern hemisphere, getting ramped up by this colossal, polar vortex. Hope you guys are ready for a long, cold, and snowy winter across most of the Northern Hemisphere. Watch for some winter records to get broken. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Amazing images brought to you by Null School. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. Thank you.